In part one of this video, I will begin my Jefferson Stage 1 check conducted by my Assistant Chief Flight Instructor Esteban. Cessna 650, turn right Alpha 3, contact ground control. Right on Alpha 3, contact ground control, 650. Another flight, 3 Alpha Echo, traffic no factor, report landing assured, please. 3 Alpha Echo. Alright, went straight down the runway, so not really any corrections. Riverside Tower. Cessna 218, turn right, heading 220, runway 19 right, clear for takeoff. Right, 220, one nine right, clear for takeoff, 2 and 8. Riverside Towers, Cessna 3 to Charlie, Fox Truck, number 1, runway 19 right, departure 2 to the west. Cessna 3 to Charlie, Fox Truck, number 1, runway 19 right. The Stage 1 check reviews some basic private pilot maneuvers while building the strong foundation needed for instrument flight. I hope you enjoy and remember, I am still learning. I am based out of Tulsa Community College in Tulsa, Oklahoma at Riverside Airport, identified as Kilo Romeo Victor Sierra. Remember, this video has two parts, so stay tuned for the second part. Now, I will keep my talking to a minimum so you can watch the raw footage. There will be times that I struggle, and other times that I got it instantly. Esteban is a very kind man that keeps his teaching skills on point. As a disclaimer, I am not claiming to be a certified flight instructor of any kind. This video is strictly for entertainment purposes only. Enjoy. Alright, show me that you can set up the autopilot to fly this heading and uh, continue the climb for you. Okay. We got our heading bug up here. Uh, 2,500, so let's put flight director on. Two Charlie Foxtrot, Cessna, that's right ahead of you is southwest bound. Go ahead and put your uh, traffic inside. Hood on. Charlie when, Charlie you get, when you get a chance. Contact full departure. Contact Tulsa departure to Charlie Foxtrot. Cessna 2 and 8, contact full departure. Full departure, good day, 2 and 8. Riverside Tower, Cub 656 Bravo Hotel, 1 9 around. Departure Sky 55218 with you just off Jones 220 on the heading. 55218, Tulsa departure, radar contact, climb on course. On course, 218, thank you. Let's go to 4,500 feet as our final today. Tulsa departure, that's 4,500. We got a good yeah. speed, and this heading will work for now. Alright. Command, you're in the clouds now. Alright. Tulsa departure, that's not 3 to Charlie Fox, over Riverside and 1,800, request vector. I'll leave GPS on a one nine right, Riverside and first stop with information X ray. Just a six zero three, connect the tower one two zero point three. On our engines were in the green. Alrighty. Just a three zero two Charlie Fox shot Tulsa departure radar contact and you want the uh, GPS one nine right approach, is that correct? That's correct. Three zero two. Charlie Fox, sir. Just a two Charlie Fox drop. Right, maintain man. three thousand. Why don't you show me how to disengage the autopilot? Heading two seven zero, maintain and, three thousand. Uh, continue our climb on this. Charlie heading. Fox, sir. Very good. I want you to climb us at five hundred feet per minute. Five hundred feet a minute. And we'll fly this heading. 
and we'll continue the climb at 500 feet per minute. Pass approach, left to 96, I'm over Lake Hayburn, 3,500 feet. Gotta find that sweet spot. Actually, in front of the side. And over Hayburn, which Spartan was it? Spartan 96. Spartan 9 or 6, Tulsa, Squawk 0204. Squawk 0204, Spartan 96. Cessna 9 or 6, 7, 7, 5, watch for traffic, 2 and a half east of you, 3,500 Cessna, also inbound to Riverside. Uh, looking for traffic, 96, that's 4723, Papa, traffic, two and a half miles west of you, northbound, also inbound to Riverside, Cessna, your altitude. Looking for traffic, for the left, this Papa. Spartan 9 or 6 is radar contact. Very good, I want you to climb at 90 knots. We'll do a constant airspeed climb now at 90 knots. Uh, approach, this is for Yankee Victor. Could you verify that you said one nine left and pass middle midfield at the uh, left downwind? This is for Yankee Victor, that's affirmative midfield, left downwind for runway one at nine or left. Charlie Foxtrot, turn right, heading 360. 360, 30 to Charlie Foxtrot. Cessna 4, Yankee Victor, contact Riverside Tower, 119.2. 119.2, 4, Yankee Victor. Okay, as you climb at 90 knots, I want you to give me a standard rate turn to the right. 218 Whiskey Lima, traffic 10 o'clock, 270. Two miles, or excuse me, 3 miles northeast right, 270, VFR, 3, standard VFR, 3,000 feet to Seminole. Right, good luck. Mm. 6 traffic, 4 o'clock, 3 miles northbound, 3,500 Diamond Star going into Pope. Hey, Whiskey Lima, how's it going? Correcting. Cessna 9 or 6, 7, 7, 5. Tulsa, did you report traffic inside? Yeah, okay. I want you to give me a standard rate turn to the left, so heading to 090. Zero zero. Zero, uh, we continue our climb. It looks like they're just slightly ahead of you, is that correct? I apologize. I'm at 180. They're about 20 knots faster right now. I want you to use the uh, turn and rate indicator of the Juan thousand. Requesting for sure we're at a standard rate. Fly falling to take a shade. Right, 20 degrees. Hello. This four for six four Down one here Papa. Down here departure radar contact. Climb on course. Climb on course. It's now four six four one Papa. Diamond A whiskey on the level three thousand five hundred. I'm in a whiskey okay. line around here. And uh, descent maintain 2,500 at previous issue traffic's 1 o'clock, mile and a half, northeast bound at 3,000. Uh, Roger, Tally Hill, uh, out of 3,500 for the 2,500. Tally Ho. All right, once we get up to our cruise, we'll, we'll, we'll not forget our checklist. Okay. We already have one checklist completed. I'm trying to work on keeping my grip really light, not the gorilla grip. Good, good, uh, good technique. Just a two Charlie Foxtrot, turn right zero two zero, maintain 2,500. Maintain 2,500 feet, heading to zero two zero, Charlie, three zero to Charlie Foxtrot. Spartan nine or six, descend to pattern altitude, enter midfield right downwind for one nine or right. I'm assuming we're going to be doing midfield maneuvers, right I won't for row one or right. lean it just yet, yeah, unless you want me to. Oh, you're fine. Just in keep bridge. All right. 2,500, that works good, right top of the green. Flash calling 134.7 was carrier only, no voice. For Rich, keeping our... Yeah, we might as well keep our lights on, it's a busy day. Sounds good. All right, 180, 95 knots, 4,500. Okay, whenever you're ready, uh... 
Spartan 906 VFR traffic Deep 1 o'clock and 2 and a half miles west Turns northwest bound indicates 1,800 type unknown. Connect tower 120.3. The clear and turns are complete. Sir, earlier as we uh, had you maneuver left and right. All right. So I've got to lower my speed just a little bit. All right, to the left, center rig. No, I mean 45 degrees. Uh, steep turns. And November 218 Whiskey Lima, uh, the William Pogue Airport's 12 o'clock and 900 miles advised when you have it in sight. Roger, I have it in sight. Correct. Number 218 Whiskey Lima, clear visual approach to the William Pogue Airport. No traffic observed between you and the airport. I do show traffic to northeast of the airport northbound at 2,500 type unknown. Uh, Roger, I'll cancel my clear at this time. Thank you for your help. 218 Whiskey Lima, Roger, I have our cancellation received. Squawk VFR changed to advisory. You have a good day. Connect Tower 119.2. Good day. Connect Tower 19.2 and 96775. Correct. Right, rudder. Four seven two three Papa Connect Riverside Tower one one nine point two. One one nine two Papa. Tulsa approach Skyline seven three five Romeo Kilo off Pope northbound need to go east. Get our wake there. Two three five yeah. Romeo Let's Kilo. Let's go back to forty five hundred feet. Let's try the steep turn one more time. Okay. I think on the left side. We were Number two, very Charlie uncoordinated. Turn right heading up. There was a little more left rudder. Yeah, there was One, very little zero. rudder three being zero. used. And then on, and then on the right steep turn, your altitude was fluctuating quite a bit. So just let's just refine that just a little bit. That's okay. all. Yes, sir. You have a green target there. I bet you if you put that green target on that horizon white two, line, Charlie, your altitude right won't move. Five, zero, three miles okay. from Wuxit, maintain 2,500 until established on the final approach course. Clear the RNAV GPS 100 right approach. 265, maintain 2,000 feet until you establish and clear the 19 right GPS. That's better. Remember to use that little green target, that little floating green target, if you put it on that white line, altitude will not move. Spartan 53, three Tulsa departure, radar contacts, say request. Request an RNA with GPS approach for Okomogi runway wide, going miss Spartan 53. Sister 302, Charlie Fox truck contact, Riverside Tower 120.3. 120.3, two Nicely done. Okay. Five, three, All right. Just, uh, just keep an eye on that airspeed, okay? Sir. All right. No Nicely done. Provided Let's go ahead and uh, zero, zero, zero. turns are good. So let's go ahead and do some, do some stalls. How about that? Okay. Let's do a power off stall. Power off stall landing configuration. Vectors for. The ILS 1 8 right into Tulsa. Spartan 5 7 Tulsa departure radar contact. Climb to 3,500, fly heading of 300. 300, 3,500 is the front side of the Departure request uh, cap to three thousand. Good job. Part about three. All right.
Power on stall. Nicely done. Three. I'm sorry. You uh, say you want to try something down. different now. Uh, yes, I'm on climb to three thousand. Fire five three. Spartan five three. Roger. Altitude. You're see you. Uh, Roger. The five five three. Seven, uh, fighting three, one, zero, and the contact pulse approach on one. Your PFD. What would you do now? We're gonna go to standbys. That's if he were out there in the real world, and IMC and IMC conditions, you would just start using your standbys. Correct. We're gonna be basing it off of our magnetic compass and standbys. Are you sure? So if you had your family in the airplane right now, in real life, okay, that's probably better, right? Right. Yeah. So why don't we do a why don't we do slow flight? Okay. Uh, with this configuration. Okay. Okay. Make sure we're on our cardinal heading. We'll do slow flight dirty. All right. For departure, that's a six two eight four mic with you passing two thousand one hundred for two thousand five hundred request four thousand five hundred uh, heading two four zero. This is a 6284 Mike Tulsa departure, radar contact, climb on course. I want course, 84 Mike. All right, sir, at your leisure, when you're ready, I'll take a uh, right turn to a heading of two, uh, 270, standard right turn, please. Sir, right 270. On 20 degrees? Standard rate. I'll let you figure out what standard rate would be. All right. So let's recover our altitude first here. Sir. We're still doing slow flight. Yep, I'm, I was, uh, I'll admit I was focusing on my airspeed there, so. I got you, I feel you, no big deal. Yeah, so as, we, uh, yeah. as we climb back up, let's talk about standard rate. So, standard rate turn depends on airspeed, right? Correct. Right, so if you uh, are in a car, and you're trying to make a turn, if you're trying to make the turn at 50 miles an hour, versus 100 miles an hour, right. you're going to need more room to make the turn at 100 miles an hour, right? Right. Make the same turn at a faster speed. So, the same, obviously a little too much. Right. The same concept 